Okay, SC. All right. Uh, H, U. How do I backspace? KPM. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for class. I'm late for class. Oh, where's Miss Sylvia? Oh no, has class ended? Oh, Miss, uh, Miss Sylvia. Uh, hi, Miss Sylvia. Hi. What happened? Oh uh, no. You were sleeping in class just now. I had a really bad dream. Yeah. Oh. What was it about? I had English homework and I couldn't finish it and I had to use the typewriter. Thank God it was just a dream. It was so hard. Oh, that sounds horrible. Oh, it was just a dream. Oh. Thank God. Oh, look just at the dream. Oh no, I guess we are late for class. How about we start class now? Yes, let's go. All right, let's, let's go, go. Let's go, let's, let's go. go. Watching Level 2 on Didate TV KPM together, me, Sean Steven, and of course, we have our wonderful Miss Sylvia. Hi! Hi, Sean! How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm really excited for our lesson today. And I believe it's not just the two of us, we also have some pupils who are online right now. Let's see who they are. Hi, everyone! Hello, everyone! Hi, wow! We have our very happy and bright faces ready to start our lesson. Maybe you could kindly introduce them to all that's watching right now. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Sylvia Shanti from SK Jalan Gurney 2. And today, mm -hmm. I have four pupils with us from four different schools. First of all, let me introduce to you mm -hmm. Muhammad Raif Imad bin Khairul Abidin from SK Jalan Gurney 2, Kuala Lumpur. Raif really, really, really loves sea creatures. Okay, next, we also have Manisha Rai Saktiville from SK Putrajaya Pressing 81 Putrajaya. She loves making videos like vlogs during her free time. And we also have Nelsi Shen Reno from SK Tombowo Penampang Sabah. She enjoys watching Korean reality shows and she also loves BTS. And last but not least, we also have Akit Nadir bin Zamri from SK Abdul Samad Selango. He loves to make TikTok videos. Hi, pupils! Hello, can you wave at us? All right. Okay, Hi. now yes. let me tell you mm -hmm. what we are going to do today. All right. Okay, so just now, if you saw the gimmick, right? Mm -hmm. There was a typewriter. Yeah. Okay, these things. I'm sure you did not see when you were born because you know why? These were there many, many, many years ago before you were born. And because of that, today, our topic for today is called Let's Time Travel. Ooh. We're actually going to travel to the past, we're going to go to the future and this is actually in Unit 2 called Life in the Past in our Year 6 Syllabus. Okay, so let me tell you what are our learning standards for today. So we have two. First is our main skill, which is listening. So pupils should be able to understand more complex supported questions. And the complementary skill is speaking, where you will ask about and describe future plans or events. Okay, so what are the activities that we're going to do today to achieve this? Okay, for listening, today you're going to listen about a classroom in the past and you're going to be answering some questions where you have to underline. That's the first one. And then we have speaking activities as well. So for that, the first one, you'll be sharing at least one information about life in the past with someone in the future. So Sean, we have a special guest wow. coming later on to our class. Okay, yeah. and you'll be using the words that you will learn later on. And mm -hmm. lastly, you will also ask about and describe one way life 
would be different in 2122, which is about 100 years from now. Wow, that sounds super interesting. We're going to time travel, but before that, we're going to take a short pause. That's why we're going to take a break and be back to you for Level 2 on Dinet TV KPM. Again, you are now watching Level 2 on Didit TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also Miss Sylvia, as well as our pupils who are online right now. So, what are we going to do for this session? Okay, so if you can see in the set here today, we actually have so many things here, and you probably know them or you do not know them. So, for today, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get to know what are some things that we use in the past and how is life right now. So let's look at the first one. Okay, the first one is actually the typewriter. Mm. So last time, people used to use the typewriter to do their work. And if you want to know an extra information about this, you cannot correct your mistakes. So if anything happens, and you have to start all over again. Oh, no. yeah, it was really hard. But then, right now, we actually have the laptop, which makes our life so easy. So you can just easily type, backspace, type and backspace. So this makes our life so easy. Now, let's look at the next one. Last time, people used to use the telephone to call. So the telephone is there, so you pick it up, you have to dial the number and you have to call. But nowadays, we have the smartphone which we can bring anywhere that we go. And it's so convenient. Yeah. Okay. And then, ah, this one. Last time, when people wrote, they actually used the quill pen and mm -hmm. ink. So if you can see, pupils, the quill pen is actually made from a bird's feather. So what they have to do is they have to dip it in the ink and only then they can write. But now, we have the pen which makes our life so easy. We can just write so easily. Okay, ha, ah, this one over here. We actually have it here today. So this is actually the oil lamp. So last time for light, people use the oil lamp. So when the oil goes off, yeah. there's no light. So they have to put more oil and they have to light it up. But now we have LED light bulbs. You can just turn on, turn off, turn on and turn off. Okay, this one, the blackboard. Last time, teachers used the blackboard when they taught pupils. So they used the chalk, so it gets very dusty, very messy. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Sean, when you were in school last time, did your teacher use the blackboard? Yes, yes, we actually learned or, well, yeah, we learned using the blackboard itself and then we also have this uh, blackboard duster or cleaner. Yeah. And we would always have to go outside of classroom and then we have to clean it. Clean it. it. Very dusty, very yeah, messy. Very messy. But now we have the whiteboard. What about you pupils at your school? Can you tell me? Maybe Raif, at your school, do you use the whiteboard or do you use the blackboard? At my school, we use the whiteboard. The whiteboard, wow. okay? So it makes our life so easy. But there are some schools that are still using the blackboard, okay? Yeah. All right. Ah, this one. When you want to boil water, last time they used the kettle. So the kettle is placed on the fire and then the water boils. But now, we actually have the electric kettle. Anyone here, do you still use the kettle at home? Can you please raise your hand? Oh, Manisha. Manisha, does your mom use it at home? Yes, she does. Okay, so she uses it to boil water, is it? Yes. Okay, okay. Anyone else, do you still use the kettle at home to boil water? You can raise your hand. 
If you do, oh, okay, even Akit as well. Okay, now let's go to this one. So last time, during winter, it gets really, really, really cold. So people used to put wood on fire and then they burn to keep themselves warm. Yes. But nowadays, we have the heater. It's automatic, you just have to turn it on and it will keep you warm when it's very, very cold. Okay, so pupils. Now, since you already know some of the items in the past and now, now comes the activity. Okay, we're going to test and see okay, how much do you know. So for today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to listen to a sharing about a classroom in the past. And this classroom is actually in Tyneham Village, England. So what you have to do, pupils, this is the question. These are the questions. Okay, so what you have to do is you just have to underline the correct answer as you listen. So for example, let's say question number one. It says the school used to have one classroom or three classrooms. So if you think that the answer is one classroom, then you just have to underline one classroom. So pupils at home, you can also participate, look at the questions, listen and answer. So let's go to the questions very quickly, yeah? Right. Okay, so question number two. Some pupils used to take the bus or walk 10 kilometers to get to school. And number three, they didn't used to have electricity. So they used light bulbs or oil lamps for light. Number four, they didn't use heaters or they didn't use to burn wood on fire during winter. And the last one, they used pens or quill pens and ink to write. So pupils, are you ready? Do you have any questions? If you're ready, can you please give us a thumbs up? Let's see, let's see. Okay, looks like we've got a thumbs up, Sean, from all of them. Yes. Okay, so let's start. Listen carefully. Okay. Good day, everyone. Welcome to Tyneham Village School. My name is Miss Sylvia and today I'll be sharing some information about this school. The school used to have only one classroom. The pupils were 4 to 14 years old. In those days, people used to walk a lot to school. Some pupils used to walk 10 kilometers to get to school. They didn't used to have electricity. They used oil lamps for light. They didn't use heaters during winter. They used to burn wood on fire. Also, they didn't used to have computers. They used to write with quill pens and ink. Life was really different those days. Okay. So pupils, did you manage to get the answers to the questions? If yes, give me a thumbs up. If no, I will do it one more time. Let's see. Oh, wow. So all of you managed to get the answers. Wow. Really good, really good. So now let's discuss. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, who would like to try the first question? Let's see. Who would like to try? Okay, looks like... Manisha has her hand raised. Manisha, would you like to try the first question? Yes. Okay, sure. Go ahead. The school used to have one classroom. Oh, so Manisha thinks that the answer is one classroom. Hmm. Okay, class, what do you think? Is the answer correct? If yes, can you please give us a thumbs up as well? Oh, I see three thumbs up. That's right. The answer is correct. Yay! <laughs> yes. Well done. Only one classroom. Now, let me ask uh, Nelsie. Nelsie, can you tell me, at your school for year six, how many classrooms do you have? Nelsie, can you tell me, at your school, how many classrooms do you have for year six? Do you have one, two... You have oh, I think four? Sarah, you are currently muted. Could you unmute your mic, please? Nelsie? 
Nelsi, you are on mute at the moment. Could you unmute your mic? Oh, maybe the volume is a little bit soft, but I heard her saying, oh, she said four. Okay, okay she Okay, four, that. okay. All right, so maybe you can speak a little bit louder later. I'm a very good Nelsie. She has four. Okay. At my school, we only have two. Ooh. But do you know, at that time, they only had one classroom in the entire school. Just one. Okay, very well done. Now, let's go to the second question. Who would like to try this one? Can you please raise your hand? Okay, I see Raif. Raif, would you like to try this one? Go ahead. Some pupils used, used to walk 10 kilometers to get to school. Hmm. What do you all think? Do you all think the answer is correct? Can you please give me a thumbs up if you think it's correct? Yes? No? Yes, you are right. Okay, Yay. some pupils used to walk 10 kilometers to get to school. Very well done, Raif. Do you know how far is 10 kilometers? Imagine your school field. Mm -hmm. You have to run at least 20 times. If it's like about 200 meters, you have to run. That's the minimum. Wow. You run and you run and run. You still may not even reach school. So it was really hard back then. Yeah. People used to walk a lot. No cars, no mm -hmm. buses at that time. Okay. All right. Very well done, Raif. What about the third question? Who would like to try this one? Akit. Okay, go ahead, Akit. They didn't used to have electricity. So they used oil lamps for light. Mm, spot on! Very good. The answer is correct. No electricity, so they used oil lamps for light. Very well done. Okay, what about question number four? Who would like to try this one? Maybe Nelsie? Yes, go ahead, Nelsie. Loud and clear. Oh, we can't hear you, Nelsie. Maybe we can get another one of her friends to assist her? Yes, to answer on her sure, behalf. sure. Who would like to try question number four? Anyone here? Yes, go ahead, Manisha. Admit yourself and tell us, what's the answer for question number four? They didn't use heaters during winter. Very good. They didn't use heaters. They didn't have heaters at yes, that time. That's right. Okay, so they burnt wood on fire. Very well done. Okay, and the last question, question number five. Who would like to try this one? Yes, Raif, go ahead. They used quill pens and ink to write. Very well done. That is correct, Raif. Yay. Okay, they didn't have pens, so they used quill pens and ink to write. Pupils, all of you have done really, really, really well. And because you have done really well, all of you deserve to get five stars. You listened really well and you, and you were also able to answer all of the questions. Very, very well done. Well done, everyone. Five stars for each and every one yes, of them. Yes, all wow. of them. Well done. Shall okay, we now, just now, mm -hmm. if you realised, Okay, when we actually looked at the questions just now, you would have seen the words used to, didn't used to, used to. Okay, so these words are actually used to talk about life in the past. Okay. okay, so you can use these words to talk about how people lived or what did they used. Okay, so this is what you can use. Now, if let's say you use used or used to, this is in the positive form. It means that they have done that. But if you use didn't use or didn't use to, it means that they did not do it that way. Okay, let's look at this one. Now, how to use it? So, let's go to the first one. Let's say if you want to use used to. So, used to, you have to use it with a verb. For example, like walk or burn. So, there are two examples here. Number one, they used to walk to school. Or number two, they used to burn wood on fire. So, there must be a verb after the word to. But if let's say you're talking about an object, over here you say they used quill pens and ink. So quill pens and ink, it's an object over there. So you have to use the word used. Or if let's say you talk about the oil lamp, so you can say they used oil lamps for light. Okay? Now what about didn't use to? The same thing. So for didn't use to, there must be a verb that comes after that, which is they didn't use to take the bus to school. Or, you can also say they didn't use to have computers. So, take the bus, have computers, these are all verbs. So, you use didn't use to. And the last one, 
Let's see if you want to use didn't use. So over here, there's actually an object that comes right after that, mm -hmm. which is which are heaters or whiteboard. So you can say they didn't use heaters during winter or they didn't use whiteboards at school. Okay, so just remember if there's the word to over there, there must be a verb. But if you just want to use the word didn't use or use, then you can put an object right after that. Yeah. Nice. So I guess this is uh, this is something new that I've learned today on how we can use the noun and also the verbs in yes. this case. But right now, we're going to take a short break and be back to you for Level 2 on Direct TV KPM. KPM And we are back for level 2 on Didate TV KPM together with Miss Sylvia Of course, the lesson for today is English Let's Time Travel Over to you Okay, so since the topic is Let's Time Travel For this segment, we are actually going to travel to the future So which year are we going to travel to? Let us see we're going to go to 2122, which is about 100 years from now. Wow. Okay, so pupils, just now, we actually learned how to use a few words. Can anyone here tell me what are the words that you learned just now? If you want to talk about something that people did or how people did something in the past, what are some of the words that you can use? Can anyone here tell me? Anyone? Yes, Manisha. And then I'll go to Ra'i. Used and didn't use. Ah, used and didn't used. Very good. What is the other one, Ra'i? Can you tell me? Used to, didn't used to. Yeah, used to or didn't used to. Very well done. So now we're going to see, are you able to use this, okay, to share with someone, a very special guest which I have brought and she is actually from the year 2122. So everyone, please say hi to Mia. Can you please wave to her? Ah, oh, she's really excited to see all of you today. Okay, so Mia is a little bit shy. Okay, so please bear with her. But she's very excited today to actually know how was life in 2022. So what we're going to do today, if you can see, I have a wheel here. Okay, so we're going to spin the wheel. On the wheel, there are actually six numbers. Yeah. Okay, so if let's say the number falls on number three, for example. Okay, so Mr. Sean will open the envelope and there will be a picture. Okay, and the word. So what you have to do is use the words that you had already learned just now and share with me uh, how was life in 2022 so for example over here today we actually have a tape so if let's see if you happen to get a tape mm -hmm. so you can tell hi mia in 2022 i used to watch movies using the tape that's an example okay so are you ready Pupils, if you are ready, can you please give me a thumbs up, everyone? Okay, so all of you are ready and Mia is also very excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, who would like to go first? Can you please raise your hand? Okay, Manisha. Yes, you can go first. So let's see which number will you get, Mr. Sean. Can you spin Here the wheel go. for us? Okay, okay. Okay, maybe I should do it one more time. Okay, sure. No problem. And we got number five. So here. Mm, number five. Let's see. What's the word or the picture that you will get, Manisha? 
Yeah. Oh, it's a kettle. Okay, Manisha, can you unmute yourself and to share with Mia, please? Hello, Mia. In 2022, my mom used the kettle to boil water. Wow, very, very well done. Okay, so your mom used the kettle to boil water. A clap from Mia. Very well done. Okay, who would like to go next? Can you please raise your hand? Who would like to go next? Okay, maybe Nelsi. Go ahead, Nelsi. Let's see, which number will you get? We're going to spin it now. Let's spin. We have number one. <laughs> number one. Okay, let's see. What's the word in the picture? Ta-da! Hmm, it's a laptop. Go ahead, Nelsi. Hi, Mia. In 2022, I used laptop to for join my online classes. Wow, very well done. It's very true, right? Because during COVID, most of us had school online, so yeah. we used our laptops or phones. Very well done, Elsie. A clap from Mia to you. Okay, next. Who would like to go next? Can I see your hand? Okay, we'll go with Akit first and then we'll go to Raif, okay? All right, so let's see what number will you get, Akit? Here we go. Number four. Let number me see. Four. Number four is still here. Okay, here let's see what's the word or the picture. Oh, ah. it's a pen. Okay, Aki, go ahead. Hi, Mia. In 2022, I used a pen to write in my diary. Wow, so you like to write diaries and you used a pen. Very well done, Akit. Very well done. A clap from Mia to you as well. Very well done. Okay, now Raif, your turn. Let's see which number you get. All right. Let's see, let's see what number is it. It's closest to number six. Ooh, number six. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's right. see. A telephone. Hmm. Okay, Raif, can you please share with me? Hello, Mia. In 2022, I didn't use the telephone to call. Oh, you didn't use the telephone because in 2022, what did you use then, Raif? Can you tell me? I used a smartphone. Oh, you oh. used a smartphone. Okay, very well done, Raif. A clap for you too. Very, very well done. Maybe one more. Anyone else would like to try one more? Okay, Manisha, go ahead. Let's see what number you get. One more, one last one. Number... Okay, this doesn't have a number. Let me okay. try one more time. Number two. Number two. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Let's and see. What you get? It's an oil lamp. Okay, Manisha, oil lamp. Can you please share with Mia? Hi, Mia. In 2022, I didn't use the oil lamp. Ooh, you didn't use the oil lamp. Then what did you use then, Manisha? I used an LED light. Oh, you used the LED light. Oh, thank you, Manisha, for sharing with me. A very well done. A clap for you too. And for all of you, you did really, really, really well. Mia says, Mia has something to say. Oh. Wow, she said that she is so surprised how life was in 2022. Wow. And she said, very well done. Very well done, dear pupils. Okay, now, now we are going to time travel again. Ooh, okay? okay, what we're going to do, okay, let's go to the next part. Okay, so for this part, the activity is actually called the time capsule. Mm. Okay, have you ever heard of the time capsule before? If you have ever heard of it, can you please raise your hand? Any one of you, if you have heard of the time capsule before, can you please raise your hand? Let me see. Ah, okay, Manisha, maybe can you tell me, uh, what do you know about the time capsule? A time capsule is where you keep 
all the stuff from the past and bury it so that the people from the future find it. Wow! Spot on! That is correct, okay? So today, actually, we do have a time capsule with us here, okay? And it's actually here. Ooh. So this time capsule, mm -hmm. we actually use it to keep things from the past. That means right now, in the present, let's say now it's 2022. Yep. So we can keep things inside here. We can keep things like newspaper from our time, some notes, some pictures, so we can put it inside here. Mm -hmm. So one day, let's say a hundred years from now, somebody will open this. So this thing will actually be buried. Ooh. Yeah. So at least a hundred years, then somebody will open and be like, oh, wow, what's this? Okay, so they probably would not have seen what's inside there because it has already been like so many, many years. So for today, what you're going to do is for this activity, I want you to think, how do you think life would be different in 2122, which is about a hundred years from now? Do you think it'll be different? Do you think it'll be the same? How different will it be? Well, you can talk about classrooms or the school you can talk about transportation like how people travel and get from one place to another food what we eat how do we eat or how food is delivered to us clothes shopping okay communication how do we talk to people chores so you can talk about any of this so for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to participate and actually put something in the time capsule today. So what you're going to do, you are going to make a note and you're going to share. So you are going to all right, write about life in 2022 and how do you think life will be different in 2122. So this is an example. This is what you can write. For example, you can say, I used to clean the ceiling with a long handle brush. I think in 2122, homes will have smart vacuum cleaners which can clean ceilings. Or you can also say, I used to carry textbooks to school. I think in 2122, textbooks will be fully digital. Okay, so these are some examples of how you can write and share. So pupils, I'm going to give you some time to write. Okay, so you write and think about what you want to share. Okay, so we'll give you some time and while you're doing that, we are actually going to look at the time capsule here. All right. Okay, so this is a time capsule mm -hmm. and as I've said just now, you can actually put some things inside there. Okay. Okay. So, can you take the one at the top here? This one? Yeah. Oh, so it looks this like is, a calendar. Yes, that's right. So, you can mm -hmm. even put a calendar inside. Okay. So, can you place it inside the time capsule for us? Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to show everyone. This is the calendar that we have here. And this is in the year 2022, right? Yes, that's right. And we're going to put it into the right. time capsule here. Okay. okay. We can even put some cash. Ooh, a <laughs> hundred ringgit yes. goes into the time capsule. In you go. We can even put some notes or letters okay. as well. All right, so we got some notes and some letters mm -hmm. that we rolled up for our future readers to yes, read. Yes, a hundred years from now. And also some coins. Oh. Take a look at these golden coins. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can see this? All right, I'm going to put it in. There we go. Okay, so after this, we're going to put in the pupils' notes as well inside here. Okay, so yeah. pupils, mm -hmm. are you ready to share? Are you ready? Okay, so for this part, I will show you how you can share. So one person will be asking the question mm -hmm. and the other person will answer. So, okay. maybe Sean, can you ask me this question? Sure. How do you think life will be different in 2122? So, I can say, I used to carry textbooks to school. I think in 2122, textbooks will be fully digital. Okay, so that's what you can say. Okay. okay, so who would like to start by asking the question first to someone? Who would like to start? Can you please raise your hand? 
Okay, Nelsi. Nelsi, can you start? Who who would you like to ask? Raif. Raif. Okay, go ahead. Sure. I'll like to ask Raif. Sure, go ahead. You can ask Raif. Raif, how do you think life will be different in 21-22? I used to write and erase what I write, but I think in 21-22, there will be an auto-correcting pen. Wow! wow. <laughs> an auto-correcting pen? Even I want that. <laughs> very well done, Raif. That was a very creative answer. Very well done. Okay, Raif, maybe you can ask somebody else. I would like to ask Akid. Go ahead. Akid, how do you think life will be different in 21-22? I used to keep my money in my wallet. I think in 21-22, Everyone will be using e-wallet. Wow. Mm. So everyone, we do have e-wallet now. Yes. But he thinks that maybe in 2122, everyone will be using e-wallet. Wow. So we don't have to carry money with us anymore. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let's see, okay, a hundred years from now. Okay, very well done, Akit. Okay, Akit, maybe you can ask somebody else. I would like to ask Manisha. Go ahead. Manisha, how do you think life will be different in 21-22? I used to go to school by car on the road. I think in 21-22, there will be flying cars. Wow! <laughs> flying cars? I think so many people have been talking about flying cars, yes. right? That would be really interesting to see. Yeah, where, where, where would you want to go, Sean, if we had a flying car? I would go anywhere. Probably I'll just even just to visit my mom, I would just go on the flying car. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Manisha, what about you, Manisha? Where would you like to go if there's a flying car? I would like to go to LA. Whoa, LA? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, very well done. Maybe anyone else here, would you like to share an additional answer of how do you think life would be different in 2122? Maybe anyone else here, would you like to share one more thing? Maybe? Yes, Manisha, go ahead. I used to wear school uniforms and go to school. I think in 2122, everything will be online and you don't need to wear uniforms anymore. Wow, so online school. Ooh. Okay, since Nelsie hasn't spoken, maybe Manisha, can you ask her the question, please? I'd like to ask Nelsie. Yeah, go ahead. Nelsie, how do you think life will be different in 21-22? I used to go to the salon to cut and style my hair. I think in 21-22, all homes will have their own machine which they can use it to easily cut or style their hair at any time. Wow. Very futuristic <laughs> thinking <Yeah>. over there. <laughs> I think I'll need that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in the future, there'll be more people with hair. I think everyone did a wonderful <laughs> job. Uh, will they get any rewards from their answers? Yes, I think all of you were really creative and you did really well. You were able to use the word used to and you were also able to think how do you think life will be different in 2122? I really love all of your answers and because of that, all of you surely deserve another five stars for each and every one of you. Wow. Very well done. Very well done. Well done, everyone. And because you did so well, you all deserve a break. So for that, we can take a short break and back to you for Level 2 on Dinit TV KPM.
KPM. And we are back for level two on the TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven. We also have Miss Sylvia as well as Mia. Hi, Mia. <laughs> All right, so shall we continue? Yes. We are actually already almost at the end of our lesson. But before we end, I just want all of you to know that you have done really well today. So today, what we did was we actually did some listening about a school in Tynehill Village, England. And you underlined some answers. We learned how to use the word used to, didn't used to. We also did a spin the wheel game where you shared with Mia about how do you think life was, how was life in the past and you also shared about how do you think life would be different in the year 2122 in the time capsule activity. So all of you have listened and you have also spoken really, really, really well. And for that, you do not only deserve 5 stars, but I would say 10 really, really, really big stars. Very well done, dear pupils. So just before we end, I would like to ask you, can you share with me just a little bit anything that you had actually learned today? Anyone would like to go first? Maybe Akit, Akit, can you share with us first? Anything that you learned today? I learned... I learned how life is so different then and... Now I realized that things change with time. Mmm, that's right. Things change with time. It was very different back then, it's different now and it will be different in the future. Very well done, Akit. Anyone else would like to share with me what you had learned today? Yes, Nelsi, then I'll go to Manisha and then Rai. Yes, Nelsi. I learned how to use used to and didn't used to to talk live in the past. Oh, very well done. So you learned how to use these words to talk about life in the past. Very well done, Nelsi. Let's go to Manisha and then we'll go to Rai. Yes, Manisha, go ahead. Before this, I really had no idea how people lived before I was born. Like the use of the oil lamp and the typewriter. Oh, so you actually didn't know about the oil lamp or the typewriter and today you learned something new. That's good to hear, Manisha. Very well done. And what about Raif? Can you share with me? I learned how technologies in the past is different from the ones we have now. Yeah, very, very different. Okay, so now, since there are changes, changes that have already happened then and now, so what do you think about these changes? Are they good or are they bad? What do you think? Can you share with me? Anyone? Let's see. Ooh, okay, looks like they've got most of their hands raised. Okay, maybe let's start with Ra'i first. I think it is bad because it makes people lazier. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't think about it that. makes people lazier. True, right? If, if let's say we have things that can, you know, can be like, for example, let's say we have a machine that can help us to cook, you know, we might get lazy right, and would not even want to cook at all and let the machine do all the work. Correct, right? If, very well done. Um, what about somebody else? Can you tell me, what do you think about these changes? Are they good or are they bad? Yes, Akit. And then I'll go to Nelson. I think it is bad because if everything is so advanced, people may hack our devices. It may become unsafe. Oh, that's true. So if everything is so advanced, there could be a possibility that people could hack into our flying cars or our laptops, which is already happening now, in fact. So it could be a little bit unsafe. So it could be bad sometimes. Okay? Yes, Nelsie, go ahead. I think it can be both good or bad. The good part is we get to do things faster. The bad part is if something goes wrong what we have, we may not know how to do something. For example, if the washing machine doesn't work, people need to, do, to wash it with their hands. Oh, that's right. That's right, Nelsie. It makes things faster, right? Like, I don't have to use a typewriter anymore. I can mm -hmm. just use the computers. My work gets done really, really, really fast. Very well. And last one from Manisha. I think these changes are good because it makes people's lives easier. 
makes people's life easier. That's right. That's very well done, very, dear pupils. Very true. And I think all the pupils online did a fantastic job. But for those of you who are watching right now at home, if they want to get extra exercises or if they want to increase their understanding, where can they get those exercises from? You can refer to Sumbaku for all of the materials and the enrichment activities. That's right. Thank you once again, Miss Sylvia, for that. And for those of you watching, hopefully it's very beneficial to you. We'll definitely see you in our next classroom. But as a closing to our class today, we actually have a special performance by Miss Sylvia. So, Miss Sylvia, the floor is yours. Things the same anymore. Just like the year 22, the year we school together, our bags were a fool, filled with books and letters. Sad at it best. Used to live that kind of life, used to live that kind of life. 